It has been one month since we were all stunned by the incredible damage Hurricane Dorian wreaked across Grand Bahama Island and the Abaco. The public may not realize that while those two islands in the northern part of the country suffered unspeakable devastation, other parts of the Caribbean paradise are open for business. The Honorable Dionisio Diaghi, our Minister of Tourism and Aviation for the Islands of the Bahamas, joins us this morning to talk more about it. Good morning. Good morning, Brendan. How are you doing today? I am well. It's nice to have you with us here today to shed some light on this topic. You know, estimates are that Hurricane Dorian caused as much as a staggering $3 billion in damage and unfortunately took many, many lives. So moving forward here, what's the latest update on the recovery efforts within the Bahamas? We're, we're all so curious. Um, so, yes, Hurricane Dorian, uh, you would have seen on your uh, television screens the untold damage that it that it wrecked on Abaco and Grand Bahama. Uh, the two most northern islands of our country received the full brunt of the storm. Um, and so uh, the relief and recovery efforts are continuing. Um, but the message I'm, I'm here today to try to get out is that the Bahamas really is, is quite a large country and, and covers quite a substantial dif distance, 600 miles from north to south. And while the two most northern islands of Grand Bahama and Abaco have been uh, damaged by this storm, 14 of our 16 destinations in the country have emerged unscathed, have been untouched by this storm. And so uh, we're, we're trying to get the message out that uh, the, the country is very much open for business. Yes, our two most northern islands have been uh, impacted, but the rest of the country uh, has not. Well, certainly, uh, humanity, we all rally together whenever something like this happens. So I would assume that the thing that we can all do to, to help out, to support, is maybe considering to maybe consider vacationing with you. Is that really what we can do to, to really support you the most? Uh, absolutely. Uh, tourism is, is, is very impactful on our economy. Uh, over 60% of our GDP is created from tourism. Almost two-thirds of the jobs in, in the Bahamas are created from tourism. So the best way that you can help us to recover is to visit those islands that were not impacted by the storm. Uh, a lot of people know, of course, Nassau, which is our capital. Uh, this is where we have, on Paradise Island, we have Atlantis, and, and then on Nassau we have uh, another huge resort, Bahama. But if you want a, 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 a smaller or more intimate holiday, we have the rest of the islands in the Bahamas, like Eleuthera, Exuma, Andros, Cat Island, Long Island. And we like to say that if you're considering a Caribbean holiday, there's really no other reason for you to consider any other Caribbean destination. We have so many islands, with each one having a different feel, a different history, uh, different beautiful, iconic places to visit, that uh, you, you have no real reason to go anywhere else in the Caribbean. Whatever you want, we have here, and we want you to, uh, to really consider a holiday to the Bahamas. In that way, when you come here and visit, and spend time with our wonderful, warm and friendly people experiencing our incredible waters and beautiful beaches and spend uh, time here. That is going to be the best way that you can help us, the citizens of the Bahamas, help our brothers and sisters in our two most northern islands that have really uh, been impacted by Hurricane Dorian. Well, I am sold. Book me a spot now because we just saw some video and it was absolutely stunning. It was remarkably beautiful and we can't uh, thank you enough for joining us right here today and we wish you the best moving forward. It looks like the ideal vacation destination. If you guys out there would like to learn more all about how you can plan your trip and it does look gorgeous, we'll have more info at roadshow.com.